The equation of the curve is given parametrically by x is equal to 1 over t minus 1 and y is equal to t minus 1 over t plus 1. Find the equation of the normal when t is minus 2 in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So we've got x is 1 over t minus 1 and y is t minus 1 over t plus 1. This is quite a complicated question, so we'll break it down into stages. So first of all, we've got to find uh, d, dy by dx. But before we can do that, we need to find uh, dx by dt. So x is t to the minus 1 to the power of minus 1. And if we differentiate that, we bring down the minus 1 in front, write down the bracket, reduce the power by 1, and then uh, multiply by the differential of the bracket don't forget that, although it's only 1 in this case, sometimes it's not 1, and people generally tend to forget that. That could be written as minus 1 over t minus 1 squared, using the rule of indices. For this one, we'll have to use the quotient rule. Okay, so using the quotient rule, uh, with u is t minus 1, and v is t plus 1, that's going to be v, which is t plus 1 times du by dx, the differential of u is 1, minus t minus 1 over times 1, divided by v squared, which is t plus 1 squared. Simplifying that, I get t plus 1 minus t plus 1 over t plus 1 squared. So t minus t, they will cancel out, and then we're going to be left with 2 over t plus 1 squared. So we have x is 1 over t minus 1, y is t minus 1 over t plus 1, dx dt is minus 1 over t minus 1 all squared, and dy by dt is 2 over t plus 1 squared, where t is minus 2. So, and we know that dy by dx is dy by dt, dt by dx, so it's going to be 2 over t plus 1 all squared times minus t minus 1 squared over 1. We can simplify this a little bit. Uh, t minus 1 squared is minus 2, is t plus 1, t minus 1, the difference of two squares, over t plus 1 squared. Obviously, now we can have a bit of cancelling. And we're left with uh, t, 2 t minus 1 over t plus 1. So when x is minus 2, uh, dy by dx will be minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 over minus 2 plus 1. So it's going to give me minus 2 times minus 3 over minus 1. So that gives me uh, 3 times minus 2, which gives that dy by dx is minus 6. Therefore, x is going to be 1 over minus 2 minus 1. which is going to be minus 1 over 3, because minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. y is going to be minus 2 minus 1, using uh, y now over minus 2 plus 1, which is minus 3 over minus 1, which is 3. So now we have the gradient of the tangent is minus 6, but we want the gradient of the normal. So it's going to be 1 over 6. Remember, those two multiplied together must make minus 1. x is minus 1 third, and y is equal to 3. So using y minus y1 is equal to mn, and m is going to call the gradient of the normal, x minus x1. We get y minus 3 is equal to 1 sixth of x minus minus 1 third. So it gives me my y minus 3 is 1 sixth x, and then obviously that's plus, and then 1 sixth times 1 third is 1 18th. Taking, adding 3 to both sides, we're going to get that y is 1 sixth x, and then we get 3 and 1 18th, which is an improper fraction of 55 over 18. So it's now in the format. 1y is equal to mx plus c as required. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the equation of a normal given two uh, 
of a curve given them in their parametric form and a particular value of t. I hope you understood and I thank you very much for watching.